Hi guys, Killer here, I'm Yan Inspired. And I skipped today. <laughs> so today is the 9th. So we're going to class today as the 8th and the 9th. <laughs> I fell asleep last night when I was sitting with the boys while they were going to sleep. I kind of fell asleep with them. And then I got up at about 10 and I thought, I can't be bothered now. <laughs> I'd just woken up and I was still so tired. So I just crawled into my bed and just went to sleep. <gasps> Sorry, I have been yawning all day. So my eyes are harder came today. And no, not today, yesterday. So I got um, Usman's chose this wool. It's the Ice Cakes DK. It's 100% acrylic, 150 grams, 540 meters, 4 millimeter needles. And so it's got kind of a khaki grey, turquoise blue, green, a medium greeny yellow. And right inside, the lighter blue and a grey I think so it's got a lot of colours so they came in a pack of two so I got two packs of them so there's four so it's 100 grams and Usman has chose this one to have as his baby jumper his birthday jumper and then I told the boys that they can each pick a wool to so I can make them a jumper out of it. Um, Usman obviously got two because one's for his birthday. So Jamal picked this. And it is... Let me see. Antibacterial Magic. It's 100% antibacterial micro drilla. 100 grams, 3mm needles, which is a number 2 weight. It feels like cotton. I don't know what Draylon is. <laughs> I've never worked with it before. But, it feels like cotton. It feels really nice. And it's working up quite nice as well. And then I got this one's the one that was Manchos for his second jumper. So this is Dancing Baby. 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 250 metres, 4mm hook and number 3 weight. So I think they're both really into the blues at the minute. And then this is what I got for myself. So it's just light grey, cashmere gold, 5% cashmere, 55% virgin wool, 40% acrylic. It's 100 grams, 320 metres, 3mm hook and a size 2 weight. So yeah, just your normal light grey. But it feels kind of nice, bit scratcher, but I think that's all the virgin wool content. Um, but I think it would be alright for me, I don't think it would be too scratcher. And there's no long hairs in it and that's my thing. I don't really mind rough as much. Um, it's just when there's long hairs that tickle, it gets really annoying. <laughs> Right, so that's it for the new stuff. Um, other than sewing in ends, I finished this cowl. So it's two balls of one second. My son took the insides of my balls before. So it's two balls of melon reggae. In chunky. Um colour two eight double three one number four weight. Although it does say four millimetre hook. But I got these on that jumbo um that job lot yarn haul that I did that big box of stuff for, I think it was two years ago and a lot of the ball bands I think were wrong like sizes and that 
because if you look at that end there there's no way that that is a number four weight that's more like a chunker and just use two balls to make this in it's thick as anything um yeah let me right let's see if i can do this right the purple is your red art super saver the grey is the one that they're calling a four weight so they are not both the same weight at all so yeah ignore the ball band <laughs> because it's chatting poop so that was that pattern for that cowl was by fiber flux and it was the golden leaf cowl and they also did it on this one as well this one is um also an iron weight see the difference <laughs> Did it the same amount of stitches and everything. This was one ball. Um, and this was Knit Picks Brava. I think it was the claret colour. So yeah. I'm hoping tomorrow um I'm getting new light bulbs, so they're like proper SAD ones, so they're meant to make your room look like it's proper daylight when well, you've got the light switched on, so I'm hoping because I film these at night that you'll be able to see what I'm showing you better because right now I know it's a bit pants when summer comes it'll be alright <laughs> I'll be asking for the dark again so um, I have been I've not really been working on any of my older projects because I've just been wanting to start everything but not work on it once it started. I'm just in a, I've got startitis. If that's the thing, I just want to start things. So, I'll start with your mouse, what I've just been working on. So this is that micro drill on. And this is the start. So it's working out pretty nice. Here's the back. So I'm not using a pattern, I just um, chained and then measured at the back, you know, shoulder to shoulder. And then whatever the stitch count was, I think it was 33. So I divided it by three for the shoulder. So I did 11 chain, 11 chain, you know, 11 for each shoulder. And then I think I did five for the fronts. So I could just increase on the front and to, you know, to make it around a net, but dip a bit at the bottom. I'm doing it in half trebles. And I'm just going to keep going and increasing. Um, my raglan stitches until it reaches just below his armpits. So I'll just keep measuring it on him as he goes. And then I'll change it to in the round for the bodder. Well, it's in the round now, but you know, I'll separate the arms, and then that is that. And I'm doing Usman's exactly the same. Um, I did the chain for his the same way, exactly the same, half trebles, exactly the same. So for his, I'm doing it in the dancing baby. And this is his up to now. That's the back. So it's pretty nice this. It feels a lot thicker though. I mean I know it is a thicker weight. It's the number three. The other is the number two. But it feels like there's a massive difference. So I'm doing that in my four millimeter. And Jamal's I'm doing in the 3.5. And then I started. That's not started. I just. Actually, I might as well show you. 
So that Felicity, Felicitas, let me see, for the Arrow sweater, um, what's it called? Right, yeah, Felicitas Arrow sweater. I've decided to do it in Marino Yarns Metro in those two colours. I mean, I know they look a bit dull and lifeless, but I'm kind of dull and lifeless myself with what I wear. I mean, this top is a bit wow, it's out there for me. Um, so, yeah. I think I'll get more wear out of it if it's in darker colours. I'm slowly trying to transition into lighter colours. <laughs> but that's slow going. And then I started my jumper. So I just did a provisional cast on, one by one twisted rib. Um, and then a row of pearl, row of knit, one by one twisted rib so I can fold it over. Then I'll put this the stitches here, I'll take off the provisional cast on, put these on a needle and then I'll kind of knit them together so it's a folded collar. And then, I don't know, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do, I might just knit what I fancy. I don't really want to follow a pattern. So I used the cast on stitches for the snug sweater that I've made before. But other than that I kind of just want to go with my own flow. See what I fancy doing at the time when I pick it up next. And then that's it. I have been working on the last thing I've been working on the honey blossom shawl so I've gone through the first 50 gram ball and I kind of think instead of doing the pink next so that's it up to now but instead of doing the pink next I'm thinking of doing the other one the same as this then the pink and then the blue just block out the bottom but yeah not looking too bad is it really and then that's it that's all I've been doing start school tomorrow again so that'll be good Usman goes back tomorrow uh, and that's it I'm thinking of making another pair of them fingerless mittens the crochet ones because I like to work on something when I'm at college because I just kind of stay in the classroom and knit or crochet on my lunch because I'm kind of boring like that. I don't know, I just don't want to walk around and chat because I don't really eat lunch anyway. I might as well sit there and do something instead of just go hang out at the cafe or whatever. I'll just go get my hot chocolate, bring it back to class and then just do what makes me happy in it. <laughs> I don't, um, I don't know, I don't like going to public places like canteens and just sitting there talking for the sake of talking to people that I don't really know too well, you know, like I don't see outside of college. It's alright if I'm going to meet friends from home because the friends, the people who I choose as my friends, they're not just people who I'm studying with. But then again, I guess that's how you make new friends. But I'm just kind of happy in my own little bubble. Maybe I should be more out there and just go hang out with them. And I have done a couple of times. Like I've gone to the canteen when I wanted a sandwich. But I'll just eat my food and then I eat quick and then I excuse myself. I get up and leave and go sit in the classroom. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know if it makes me happy and I'm not being rude I do I do say like I just want to go get a hot chocolate and sit up there like um or I've got an order I need to get done or whatever so yeah I think they understand 
But if not, well, I don't know. What can I do? <laughs> I just feel like if I wasted that whole hour just sat gossiping and chatting to people who I don't see outside of school, it's a wasted hour for me. And then I don't like wasted time. <laughs> so bad that in it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just like not really into making new friends. I don't know. I mean, if they were into the same things as me, then yeah. But they don't really talk crochet. <laughs> I know it's so daft, and I need to segment parts of my life. But, I also think, well, why should I, if it makes me happy and if I'm not hurting anybody, then why? Just to fit into what's normal in society, well, honestly, I don't think society is the best and I don't think it should be emulated, really. I mean, what's normal? Pretty bonkers to me. Um you get people that are naturally rude with each other and that's classed as normal nowadays like I'm sorry but if that's normal I'm happy in my own little world um, but it, on the other hand as well you get people that are too scared to speak because there's so many taboo subjects or controversial subjects nowadays that you just don't know what's right to say and what's not so you don't really have real conversations anymore and honestly, like, I'd rather not have a conversation with anyone if it can't be a real conversation. Like, if a subject gets brought up, talk about it. If you're not offending someone, then talk about it. And then if you do get offended, say, right, well, I don't agree with that and I think that we should curb the conversation now. Not just kind of not talk about things. I just think a lot of things are not real nowadays. Um, yeah, I just want no part of it. I'll talk to myself. Yeah, just talk to myself. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing that right now. <laughs> but you know what though? I get myself. <laughs> no one gets me like me. Yeah. Maybe I do need to go to sleep again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it will be nice going to school tomorrow, don't get me wrong, but I kind of, I prefer to stay at home. If I could pay someone to take my kids to school and pick them up, I would do it, just so I didn't have to leave the house. I, I hate leaving the house. In, it's not like a sickness or, you know, like some people physically can't or they'll have panic attacks. I just hate leaving the house. I really do. Um, yeah. I'm very unsociable and I don't mean to be, but I kind of, I don't like being in crowds. Um, I hate when I have to go to town like just before Christmas because it's so jam packed and I hate crowds. Crowds just freak me out. I do feel panicked then. I don't panic, but I feel panicked inside. I feel like I'm like there's loads of pressure building up and I'm just going to explode um, and I don't really like seeing people that I know see I'm alright with strangers it's weird but seeing people that I know I mean strangers don't really talk to you and then they move on afterwards but seeing people that I know I kind of if I spot them first I want my head down and I try like not to let them notice me <laughs> because I don't want to stand around and chat. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> but I kind of feel like... Do you know what? I live too much by my list and by my schedule. That's what I think it is. If something's not fitting into my plan, I've got no time for it, and then I get stressed out and all muddled inside my head. It's like, I write on my to-do list in the day, 
if I'm going to phone my mum or if I'm going to message my mum. Um, everything is on my list. If something's not on my list and I have to do it, I have to write it on my list beforehand or I stress out and I feel like the whole day has gone to pot. Um, yeah. I need to live by my list. Yeah. I make myself sound like a freak, don't I? <laughs> but I do though, I get so stressed out and... I don't know, it's like the people who really know me, they can come to the house, take one look at me and go, okay, something's not... You've had to do something that's not on your list and it stressed you out. <laughs> because, yeah. That's the order of my life. I live to that order. I don't know if it's weird, it might be just really weird and you know, you might be thinking, right, well you're an actual nut job right now. But my life is kind of self regimented and that makes me happy and that keeps me calm. Um when I didn't live like that I'd get depressed a lot and yeah. I mean when I was 18 I was suicidal, I was I was dealing with so much stress and so much pressure but now since I've got my list I kind of, I feel like life has a focus and if I keep my mind on that focus and of course my kids are a focus too but sometimes you need things outside of your kids that are a focus because when your kids are at school the focus isn't there they're not right in front of you. I need a focus that's right in front of me all the time and I can get out my planner all the time. Um, yeah, it just really is weird to explain. I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly, but I get it. <laughs> so that's what matters. Uh, yeah, and I think that is all. That is everything. Yeah, I think tomorrow my lunch I'll answer emails as well. Um and then answer comments. And that really is it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to have my milkshake because I went to Asda today and I like their milkshakes very much. So I'm going to go and do that. And I'm going to put my pyjama pants on because I've just eaten some food and now I feel like my top button needs to be undone. Too much information maybe, but I love that feeling. Because that's a satisfied feeling. <laughs> right, and I am going to go. So thank you for coming to join me today. Sorry if I've just made you think, what the hell is she on about? But you know what, my mind's like that sometimes. It's all frazzled and it goes round and round in circles and it comes out a bit like gobbledygook. But it's me. Love me or leave me, it's me. Have a good night everyone. Bye.